Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I am gonna do a packing video. So I fly out to Pisa tomorrow morning and yeah, I need to pack all of my stuff. As you can see, I'm led in bed right now. I don't really wanna pack, I can't go to bed. Need to be productive, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you most of the stuff that I'm packing, a few different outfits I'm gonna be taking with me and just some little tips, useful stuff. I'm only going for a week, but I do tend to overpack because I'm one of those people who just worries about not being prepared. So I'm gonna try and rein it back and make sure I don't pack too much. I am sharing a suitcase with Steve. This is where we might run into trouble. So we're flying with EasyJet and obviously you have to pay extra for your luggage. And we, we've we got one 23 kilogram bag between us. Steve never really packs that much, so it should be all right, but we shall see. This little man will be going to kennels later. Won't you, mister? Huh? I know, buddy, I'm sad about it too. Okay, so I think I am... Um pretty much done that didn't take very long which makes me think that i'm missing something so what i normally do is a couple of days before i go on holiday i'll write a massive list on my phone even really stupid stuff like underwear you know simple things like that i will always write it on my phone just so that i can check it off and then i don't really have to like worry about it i just go through the list and just pack stuff um and then what i do is i lay it out in the piles <laughs> because I always pack too much. So I lay it out in the piles and then I can see how much I'm actually taking and go, yeah, let's cut this back a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna kind of do now. It doesn't look too bad, I don't think anyway. So I've laid it out in my lounge just because there's way more floor space. And for those of you who don't know, I live in a townhouse anyway. So my lounge is on the same floor as like my bedroom and my dressing room. So it's just easier to lay it out in here. Um, yeah. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is all of my stuff laid out into piles. It normally doesn't look this neat. I've made it look more neat because it's easier to talk through. Um, so I've got my kind of like underwear there, pajamas, bikinis and swimsuits. That's what I think I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Tops, that's a beach cover up. Those are all dresses. Skirts and then kind of like belt, bag, shoes these are like electronic bits pool floaty obviously um, and then all my kind of wash stuff and then yeah bags another bag up there so i'm just going to talk you through each pile what i'm going to bring basically okay obviously i'm not going to talk you through all of my underwear but i thought i'd just share this so i put all of my underwear um i have things like obviously underwear bras socks all of those kind of things, and I just put them in a laundry bag. This is a bag, I got this from Tiger Tiger, and is it Tiger Tiger or is that the club? One of them's a club and one of them's a shop. Maybe it's just Tiger. Um, it's where they sell like loads of random stuff. So I got it from Tiger, and it's basically a bag to wash delicates in, like bras and things like that, but it's really good to just keep everything together because I hate when you kind of open your bag, it's been chucked around and everything's just all over the place. I like things to kind of be kept how I kind of pack them. So it's handy just to keep them all together in a bag like this. I also want to show you this bra I got. So I was looking for a really nice kind of multi-way bra. I actually got this on Amazon. So it's the detailing on it's really sweet. The tag's obviously still on because I haven't worn it properly. But got really nice little gold detailing on it it's really nice quality I was really surprised because I think this was only oh it's an Ultimo one I, it was only like six quid I want to say six quid maybe eight quid I'll link it down below for anyone who's looking for a really good strapless slash multi-way bra so it's the brand Ultimo it says on the tag that it's 28 quid um but I didn't pay that and I got it like the next day so if anyone's looking for yeah one of those would highly recommend that um and then in here i just have things like my flannels face cloth stuff like that to take my makeup off not overly interesting but there you go i've got pajamas here i actually picked this up in primark the other day 
Um, it's fresh out the wash, wash, but I have been wearing it all this week. It's so comfy. It's just a little black kind of silky night dress, but it's really nice and cool because we're going to Italy and it's going to be like 29, 30 degrees while we're there. The, we're staying in a villa and I don't think it has like air conditioning. I'm not sure what the temperature is at night, so it could be quite hot. So I thought getting something like that is quite nice and loose fitting and not too clingy. Let's talk about bikinis. I'm probably bringing too many bikinis so pretty much all of these are either from Cupshe or Zaffle they all come delivered in little zippy bags like this which I absolutely love because I don't like um putting kind of like swimsuits back in your suitcase after a holiday and they just smell really chlorine-y sometimes so it's nice to be able to zip them back in a bag um, so you can get them home and just wash them at home. But I've got, I'll just show you the ones I've got anyway because everyone loves bikinis. So this is a really cute one from, where's this from? Oh, this is actually Zaffel, but it's in a cup she bag. Um, it's a high, high waisted bottoms, kind of scallop edge with more of a kind of crop top style top. And these are all textured, so they're really nice and kind of forgiving. But I felt that was more of like a kind of cover up bikini. It does cover up quite a lot. I've got these bottoms because I absolutely love these. These are cup she. They're like high waisted leopard print, but they're quite sexy. But I've got a couple of tops that I can mix and match that with. One of them is actually this one. This is ancient, but it's like the best um, bikini top ever. It's really supportive. It's, it's originally from ASOS and yeah, it's just a triangle one, but it does have underwire in it, so it's really nice and supportive. And I like bringing that and then a couple of different bottoms I can kind of mix and match it with. This one is also cup she. So, oh, it's all tangled. It's this kind of stripy top. It has really nice kind of detailing, ropey detailing on the back. And then the bottoms are reversible, so you can wear them either way. Then I've got a one-piece swimsuit. This is also cup she. Um, so yeah, it's full at the front and then it has this kind of lace-up detailing at the back. But I absolutely love this print. Obsessed with that. I like to try and bring a variety of different ones depending on like how I'm feeling. Some days you want to cover up and some days you won't. I've got another kind of cover-up one. So these are kind of high-waisted bottoms. These are from Zaffle. Um, palm print which I absolutely love and this top oh the booby pads are all twisted so this is like a proper cover-up top like that and it's got a little knot in the middle but it does have little booby cut pads in it so it won't go see-through and it kind of holds its shape but on days where you just want to I don't really sunbathe to be honest I get a bit too hot and bothered and I just burn really easily so um, I don't think I have any like proper skimpy ones but yeah, I like to have a few different kind of styles and cuts to keep going. Ah, oh, I also got, I'm such a loser. So Steve is really good at swimming. Really, really good at swimming. He used to like compete and stuff. So he has been saying for years that he's going to teach me how to swim properly. I can swim, but I feel like this is the extent of my swimming ability. So he's going to teach me how to properly swim. And I, I got a swimming hat because my hair's really thick and it takes so long to dry. And if I'm going to be swimming every single day, well, pretty much every day, properly with like my head in the water and stuff, I don't want to have to wash my hair every day. So I bought a swimming cap because normally when I just sort of paddle around, I just have my hair in a top knot and it wouldn't get wet. Um, but yeah, if I'm going to be properly swimming, I'm going to be wearing that. And also. I got some goggles as well because I got my eyelashes done and I can't see underwater anyway. So pretty chuffed about those. Swimming hat was from Amazon. Bargain. Right, let's talk about what I'm going to wear to the airport. I'm not entirely sure if this is what I'm going to wear. So I got these. They're kind of like cycling shorts. When I say they're kind of like cycling shorts, they are cycling shorts. These are really nice and thick. Um, they also have, oh, I don't know if you can see. A kind of slight leopard print on it anyway they're really nice and this band really nice and thick I got these from H&M in the sports section 
yeah, that's just really comfortable. I just thought I want to be really comfy on the plane. The flight's only a couple of hours anyway, I know, but and then it's gonna be really hot when we get to the other side. So I thought I'd wear that with oh, where's my t-shirt gone? Oh, it's here. I got it with just a black t-shirt. I got that one from an outlet in America. So just basically t-shirts, cycling shorts, and then wear it with a little denim jacket. So I am bringing this just in general in case sometimes, you know, the temperature can drop in the evening. It's nice to have a little kind of something that you can just chuck on if it does get a tiny bit chilly. So my a denim jacket is always my go-to for that kind of thing or just a kind of like loose knit cardigan. But yeah, I thought that would work. And then when I get back to England, it's probably gonna be absolutely freezing. That will keep me covered as well. So I was thinking that with my little backpack and my vans probably, just a really nice comfy outfit basically. I forgot to talk about the pool floaty. Can we just talk about this? Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna properly unravel it, but <laughs> It's a donut donut. I got this in America a couple of years ago, but I thought that's a must have for the pool. My sister's bringing, she's got like a giant swan, I think. And then my brother's got something else, like a unicorn or something. So I think we've all got it covered between us. So most of the time I will probably wear dresses because I just feel more comfortable in a dress. I have loads of dresses but I do have a couple of skirts to wear as well. I think I'm probably bringing too many tops. So I have this one, where is, oh, it's inside out, that doesn't help. I think this one's from Shein. So I thought this is a really cute little kind of cropped vest top and I have a skirt that I can wear that with. So I've got that one. I bought, why are these all inside out? I also have this top, just in case I wanna cover like my, cause it's a high possibility that I will get burnt while I'm out there. So, I mean, I'm gonna try not to, but it happens. So in case I get burnt or something, it's good to have a kind of cover up t-shirt to wear in the evening. So this is just a higher neck, quite form fitted, kind of ribbed t-shirt from Shein. Looks great in the evening with like a little bit of jewelry and a skirt. So I thought I'd take that. I got another kind of cover up tee, but to be honest, if I'm taking that Calvin Klein one, probably don't really need to bring this one. This is cute though, I wanna talk about it. This is from Joni, how cute is this print? Everyday brunch club. But I feel I'm gonna to have to, I don't think I'll need that. And then I have, I'm only taking two skirts, so this is why I'm not like taking a lot of tops. It's just a really, really nice little racer tea but yeah that was nine pounds it's still got the tax on it was nine pounds from top shop but it's really nice and soft so that's that i also have this shirt this is inside out as well right i clearly have an issue so i got this from asda and it's a kind of longer style shirt you could wear this as a dress and belt it in um, but it's quite sheer. So this would be really nice undone over something it's like a cover up or j even just as a pool cover up when you're kind of sitting around the pool reading a book or something. That was my kind of thought process with that. Right, let's go through all of my dresses. I'm gonna need to curl some of these dresses. I'm definitely bringing too many. Right. This is actually a play suit. This is like the only play suit that I actually have slash like. This is from Pink Clove. It's just a really simple black play suit. So this will be really nice in the evening. Has little like frill details. And this is really, really flattering as well. So that's the only play suit that I'm gonna take. I have this white shirt dress. This is purely just for the evening. So this was in my Amazon haul the other day. It's a kind of wrap around shirt dress so the top where's the other bit wraps over like that when i showed you guys this on my amazon haul this had very kind of like split reviews some of you loved it some of you really hated it i personally really love it i think it's really cool and really out there it was a little bit pricey but 
I just thought it was really unique so that's why I wanted to keep it so that'll be yeah really nice in the evening with some like red lipstick that's definitely coming this dress oh absolutely love this is a lifesaver this summer so this is from Shein I can't find the top guess what it's a wrap over dress as is most of my wardrobe so this is a short little wrap over dress really cute little um, polka dot print it's really flattering has like frilling at the bottom I just thought it's so nice and summery and cute and the fabric is really thin and floaty so it's gonna be really nice and cool so I've got that I'm definitely not gonna take this I know I won't wear this I took this to America with me and I didn't wear it because I ate too much and then I didn't want to it's quite tight um, it's nice though it's this kind of cowl neck leopard print dress I'll probably take this dress I don't have any other red stuff so I'll take this one I actually got this from the clearance section in TK Maxx this definitely needs an iron before I go out or I think there's an iron there I might wait until I get there so it's yeah love this color the colors on this are so vibrant just red with that kind of blue flower pattern really pretty i had so many comments on this dress when i wore it um it kind of like goes up the leg a little bit so you've got a little bit of leg out but it's longer at the back so it's really nice and practical and then it has this kind of tie detailing with a little peep hole in the middle so you've got a little bit of leg out you've got a little bit of cleavage out but you're pretty much covered and again i love this kind of fabric it's really nice and thin it yeah i wore this a lot this summer as well another wrap dress <laughs> um this is also from shein and this is very similar to the green one apart from the fact that it is longer so it kind of kicks out more at the back has like a really nice frill hem on it again not even sure if you see that I just love these dresses honestly if I know it's kind of late in the year but if anyone is looking for just a really nice comfortable flattering summer dress Shein is like by far my favorite store to go to and they're dirt cheap as well um so yeah another one but this one is a Dalmatian print it looks really yellowy on the camera hmm. right last dress I have is this one this is another one I haven't got around to wearing yet. This is like most of my wardrobe pretty much. So this is from ASOS. It's a halter neck dress, has this frill here and then has these really cute little cap sleeves and it kind of goes in at the waist and then has a bit of an A-line bottom. And I mean, this print is just really adorable as well. I can't remember how much that was. I don't think it was too much, but I, I did get this like a year ago. I got it last summer for an event and I didn't wear it and I just haven't got I just haven't had anywhere to wear it because it's a little bit more kind of dressy so maybe I'll take that and I'll maybe I'll actually get around to wearing it this time right skirts 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 so oh my gosh another one from Amazon if you guys haven't watched that haul this oh, oh this is amazing this skirt so it's a kind of um it's called like a satin bias cut skirt and I said in that haul, I have tried on so many satin type skirts and none of them have ever really suited me apart from this one. Actually, maybe I should wear this to the airport with the t-shirt. Yeah, anyway, so we, this, this is so flattering. It kind of goes round like your hips and then kicks out. It gives you a really nice hourglass shape really versatile because it's just black satiny this looks good in the daytime and the evening and this is the best bit oh my gosh it's elasticated thank you this is originally from new look but i got it on amazon uh and i can't i think it was about 19 pounds i think 19 or 20 pounds i should remember i only ordered it the other day so i've got that and then i've got another skirt so this is from pink clove let me show you this again i wanted to bring this because it's a really nice and stretchy skirt just going to be really nice and comfortable for when i've eaten loads of pasta and pizza i like this print i think it's really funky it's kind of slightly kind of i don't know what they are like paint splashes or aztec -y, something like that really nice and stretchy and what's really cool is it has this 
kind of line that goes up the front centre bit and then you can ruche it up so you can pull these strings and it kind of ruches up the side and it's really flattering. So that was Pink Clove. I can't remember how much that was actually. I'm going to try and leave links to most of this stuff down below by the way. I may struggle with some of it but I'm going to try my best. So I think that's all the clothing that I have. It's probably too much for one week. There is a washing machine there so I can wash stuff if I want to. I'm not sure now what to wear on the plane, whether I should go with the cy cycling shorts, the sh sort of shike, the cycling shorts with the t-shirt or I could wear the satin, that satin skirt with like vans and the denim jacket. I'm not really sure which to wear because I don't think I'd really wear the shorts while I'm out there. Hmm, I don't know. Might just decide on the day. We've got some boring techie bits like um, a little tripod, then like camera batteries because I am going to be vlogging while I'm out there. Adapters, hair curlers. So I'm only bringing curlers, I'm not bringing straighteners. These are my go-to curlers. So these are from Amazon as well. These were only £30. And what's great is that ah, you can remove the barrel and put different ones on so i've gone for, for a smaller one so i can go for a tighter curl if i want um more of a holiday more of a bouncy holiday curl and then bag wise right this is my hand luggage behind me so i've come on i've got this one to take on the plane with me and this is from primark but i do love this because we're gonna go and kind of do a bit of exploring and sightseeing and stuff as well and this bag has a um zip on it which i think is so important because in really touristy areas obviously the chance that you'll get pickpocketed is quite high so i always make sure that i've got a bag that's not going to be like a, a theft trap basically oh my gosh i forgot i have this in here i've got this little michael kors purse i was looking for this so my other purse is friggin ginormous and it's kind of difficult to put it in my bags and stuff so I'll take any stuff that I have in here that I need to take and put it in here because it's got like a little card section, a little bit for the money, just perfect little travel size. Yes I'm one of those people who has plastic wallets so we've got like our passports and our money in here. One thing I would say though is maybe I'm just paranoid but I always split the money up. So this is the money for me and Steve for the whole holiday. So obviously if we were to lose this or it was to get stolen or misplaced, whatever, then that's all of our money gone. Obviously we have cards with us, but that's all of the money that we were gonna spend throughout the week. So it's good to kind of break your money up and put it in different, like not just have it in one place basically, just to be safe. I've got a book to read by the pool, got headphones to take on the plane with me, a pen. I always have a pen in my bag. It's just handy to have. It's one of those things you always go on holiday and go, oh, I don't have a pen. Um, and then sunglasses. I've got these ones. These are from the Sarah's Day collection with Vaux. So they're just matte black glasses, look like that. I just take one pair. They just go with absolutely everything. They go with everything because most of my wardrobe is black. And then, what else have I got? Right belt i'm only taking one belt which i will probably only wear with kind of like the play suit or that satin skirt and it's my gucci jeep belt so i'll probably only wear that in the evening um just to kind of dress up and outfit a little bit and oh my gosh this bag i got this from fashion nova by the way i've got a haul with fashion nova i need to film it when i get back but watch this space for that how cute is this little bag so this is just like a little evening bag that i'll take out um it does have a bigger chain strap that you can wear it on your shoulder inside but it's this kind of like little wickery black gold just i thought that was so cute perfect for like a little european holiday it's just love it okay that's all my clothes shoes i feel like we need to have a color in the shoes okay so Vans, I'm definitely taking, probably need to give them a bit of a, bit of a wipe first because I've been dog walking and them a bit muddy. 
So I'm gonna wear these on the plane because they'll just be really nice and comfortable. And then I've got, ah, uh, reach. Um, these are really grubby as well, actually. I should probably give these a wipe. I've got a pair of sliders. These are pretty much just to wear around the pool and like walking around the villa and stuff. So they're just white Tommy Hilfiger ones. I'm kind of torn between taking these ones and taking my black, I've got like just black uh, Calvin Klein ones. Um, the Calvin Klein ones do rub a little bit. So at least with these ones, I can kind of wear them out walking if I do want to. Um, I do love these, they're sort of got grey crossover, just has a Tommy Hilfiger on it. These weren't that expensive either, I'll leave the link for it below, but they're really, really comfortable. And then, I always say this, I don't really wear a lot of kind of sandals. These are the ones that I've been wearing kind of all summer pretty much, so they're a Birkenstock dupe. Um, I got these on Pretty Little Thing, I'm not sure if they do them anymore, but I did see some really, really similar ones in Office, which are pretty much the same price as well, and they're much nicer. I kind of regretted getting these because I would have gotten the Office ones instead if I'd, if I'd have known. But yeah, these are just really comfy. I can do loads of walking in these as well. So that's probably the only pair of sandals I'm gonna wear. There's no point me bringing more because I know I just won't wear them. These are kind of evening shoes. So in the evening, I do love um, kind of getting dressed up and going out, having dinner, that kind of stuff. And I like to be able to wear heels, but then heels are so impractical on holiday. We kind of like to go out in the evening, have a wander around, find cute little places to go and have food and do a little bit of exploring in the evening and heels are just not practical. So I got these, I got these from Topshop and I got them a couple of years ago and I mean they're slightly healed, straps in the way, they're slightly healed, so they feel like you're wearing heels but they're really really comfortable and yeah these are pretty much going to go with everything that I'm going to wear. And then these ones are the ones that I think I'm going to have to cull. So I got these from Shein as well, and I do love these. So they're just like a nude suede kind of shoe, but they're like a flat form, like an espadrille flat form. These are really comfortable. I wouldn't do a lot of walking in them, but then I don't know, well they probably would go with a lot of my outfits for the evening. Oh, do you know what, I'm just gonna bring them because I love them. And Steve's gonna just have to bring their stuff so I can fit more stuff in. Okay, on to toiletries. So most of my toiletries just kind of fit in here. So I have all my kind of like jade rimp, perfumes, stuff like that. Um, and then I've decanted loads of stuff actually. Um, so got this on Amazon, you get this little wash bag with little kind of uh, smaller bottles in it that you can just pour stuff into. This whole set, there was 10 bottles and the bag 10 bottles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bottles. And uh, yeah, order it on Amazon, it's really cheap. And I've just decanted loads of stuff. So in here I have, so I have my micellar water to remove my makeup, that's from Kiko. I've got my actual face wash. Um, I got that from TK Maxx actually, I'm not sure what the brand is. I have my exfoliating toner. This is from, I think it's called The Ordinary. This is really, really good actually. And I have just my moisturizer. I did, obviously didn't decant that because it's pretty much the same size. Then I have my shampoo and conditioner, which is just Herbal Essence. Um, I've got some body lotion in there to moisturize. And this is friggin awesome. So this is shampoo as well, but it's a purple toning shampoo. So anyone with blonde hair, if you get really, really brassy kind of yellowy hair, um, especially in summer when you've been in the sun a lot, I get it quite a lot where it just goes a bit kind of yellowy. And I have used a lot of toning shampoos before and they've never really worked for me. They've always kind of turned my hair like blue or purple and they've kind of stuck to clumps of my hair. And yeah, just not worked out. But I did see a lot of people talking about this one. So I thought I'd give it a try. And it's actually friggin' insane. I really wish that I'd done before and afters because it was really bad before. And this is called the, 
I got it on Amazon, as per most of the stuff, and it's called the Fenola No Yellow Shampoo. Really, really good and actually really reasonably priced as well. This is kind of like an overflow bag of bottles and stuff um, because not all of it does fit into my bag. I've got my brace box as well and I'm actually due to change my aligner while I'm on holiday so I've got my other one in there as well to take. Um, oh my gosh, talk about this all the time. This is the Glow Revolution Glow Revolution Prime Set Glow. It's an illuminating body spray. I absolutely love this, especially on holiday. I will literally spray this everywhere. It gives you a really nice bronzed glow. Tanning stuff. I do take tanning stuff on holiday with me because I would rather top up on my fake tan than just sit in the sun because I don't like sitting in the sun and I just, I don't really tan that easily anyway. So I've got this one for my face. This is the Isle of Paradise self tanning water and light. Um, so you literally just spray it on and that turns out the perfect kind of colour for my face. And then I've got a couple of other ones. I'm mainly taking two because they're both nearly running out. So I'll just chuck them once they're gone. So there's, this one is the Isle of Paradise Glow Clear Self Tanning Mousse in dark. So that's what I've got on now. I've not tanned my face by the way, so I might be a bit pale. Um, the only thing this is you can't see where it's going when you put it on. So you have to be pretty skilled um, to make sure you've got full coverage, but the color is really nice with that one. And then I've got this one as well, which is the Mind Tan Workout Ready one. So this is a mousse, a tinted mousse. It's designed to, so you can work out in it and basically don't sweat it off. So I thought that would be really good for holiday because obviously you can get quite hot. It means I won't be sweating it off. If I want to put some on in the evening before I go out, and then wash it off before I go to bed. I can kind of do that and not worry about going streaky. So yeah, I would recommend those. I'm gonna take some of this as well. Oh my gosh, one thing I didn't mention in my underwear bag, I am bringing chub rub shorts because chub rub is the worst friggin' thing when you're on holiday, it really is. There's nothing worse than like when your thighs rub together and you get like a really bad heat rash, it's so painful. So I'm bringing chub rub shorts because the ones that I've got, they're from Marks and Spencers, and they're not technically chub rub shorts. I think they're called slimming shorts, but they're really, really thin. So you don't overheat in them. So I've got those, but I also got sent this by Curve Balm and it's basically anti chub rub cream. So I'm gonna be testing this out while I'm on the holiday. Basically, I mean, this will be really good for just walking around in the daytime and you can just pop it in your bag. Hopefully that'll be a lifesaver. Um, and then, Pretty much done the only thing I've got left is jewelry I might actually put this in my hand luggage just so it doesn't get squashed so I love right most of the stuff in here is from Anna Louisa and everything comes in these really cute little pouches which is so useful for taking them on holiday uh, so I've got most of my stuff in here I have a pair of gold hoops which are Anna Luisa. I've got like spare hair bands. I have oh I'll talk to you guys about this because this is really useful. So both of these necklaces are from Anna Luisa. So there's the kind of horn one and then there's like a little gold disc. And I like wearing them together, but they do get like kind of tangled and wrapped up quite easily. So I found this on Amazon. Basically, oh, is it a shock that I found on Amazon? No, because I do all my shopping there. Um, it's, you attach these to the necklace and then, well, you basically, atta you attach your necklace to these things like that. And they basically space them out a little bit. And it also makes it easier to put them on because you just slot that together and there's a magnet in it, which keeps it together but when you're wearing them, it stops them from tangling so much. So that is really good. Yeah, so I got it from Amazon and I got, you get like a box of them in like gold, silver. Um, there's ones with like three loops. You could put three necklaces on them, stuff like that. And yeah, again, they were crazy cheap. I also have a pair of 
dangly silver kind of chain earrings as well. Those are from Anna Luisa. And then I have two little silver necklaces. So I might take one of those silver necklace spaces as well. This one's really tangled. Um, so I've got this little kind of arrow one from Anna Luisa. And then I've also got this one. This is from Italo Jewelry. It's like a little disc and it's got like little sparkly, little sparkly jewels on it. So yeah, pretty simple jewelry, but just enough to kind of dress up my outfits a little bit. And then, yeah, the bags that we're taking. So, oh my gosh, these are the best bags in the world. So I got these from the Antler outlet store. They have one in Gloucester, which is really good. So I got them as a three set and it worked out a lot cheaper. So this is the little cabin one. Um, I love it because it's got like the four wheels on it. So you can just kind of scoot it along. Um, so yeah, Steve's gonna take that on the plane. I don't know if he'll really need to, to be honest. It's kind of, we were kind of thinking of taking it just as like an overflow bag in case we bought stuff or were away or in case stuff didn't fit. I don't really think we'll need to, but it's there if we do. And I mean, it's only a really short flight anyway. It's different when you're flying long haul and you want to take more stuff on the plane with you, but I don't think we'll need to take that. And then we've got this, this massive bad boy as well. Yeah, these suitcases are amazing. These are by far the best suitcases I've ever had. And they're really nice and strong, really durable. And they're really lightweight as well because I had another one this size before and it was so heavy. It used to weigh so much before I'd even put anything in it. And for someone who likes to pack a lot of stuff, it's not useful because I was going over the weight limit all the time. So yeah, absolutely love this one. And it has one of these little padlocks on it as well. And then inside it has like a zip section and then one of these ones with the straps. I'll probably put all of my stuff in a zip section because I'm more fussy about all my stuff lying around whereas Steve literally won't care. He'll just chuck it in. So I'll probably have the tidiest section. Right, I am all packed. I've just dropped Rocky off at the kennels as well. But I'm gonna show you what is in my bag. Okay, so I'm sure this isn't mind blowing, but basically I fold everything and then roll it up because I find it just stays a bit better and everything gets less creased. I've just put my shoes under there so they're all kind of stacked upwards and then all of this on top. This bag, I've actually put some bikinis in there just to keep it solid and make sure it doesn't get squashed when the bag is in hold. And then I just keep all my stuff that I'm gonna wanna grab quickly. Things like underwear and pajamas and things like that, if I just have them at the top. So I have shoes at the bottom because they're heavier then like keep stuff that's, I just want a bit more easily accessible. Normally I would put my toiletries at the top, but I've run out of room. So I'm hoping Steve packs no more than this. In this bag, there is actually stuff for Steve as well. There's loads of like sun cream and stuff like that in there. So some of that is like shared and obviously like the pool floaty. He probably won't actually pack that much. So I think we'll be all right. And then obviously I've left out my fans, which I'm gonna to wear to the airport. I've got my little backpack all packed with everything in there. I've left my jacket out there, obviously. And then I still can't decide whether to go with shorts or that long silky skirt. So I've left both of them out and I'll just decide in the morning. But I mean, I would say, what do you guys think? But by the time this video goes live, I'll already be in Italy. So it's not really that helpful. But yeah, I'll just decide in the morning, depends how I feel. Only thing I've not packed is makeup and obviously like toothbrush and toothpaste. So I've got a small makeup bag. When I say small, it's not that small. I've got a makeup bag to go over there. Uh, yeah, but that is everything. To be fair, I'll fit my makeup bag in there, I think. Just depends how much stuff Steve's pack. Steve packs. Knowing him, it's not going to be that much. He'll probably have a pair of trainers and sliders and then a couple of pair of like shorts and then a few tops and like that will be him. He is such a light packer and because we do have a washing machine there anyway, 
I know this is like excessive, but yeah, he'll probably just make do. Right, so that is everything. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Oh, another thing that I haven't packed yet, I do still have a couple of bits on my list. One of them's like phone charger, stuff like that, that I can't pack until tomorrow. So we don't have to leave until, when I say we don't have to leave, we're leaving at about half seven in the morning. So we normally get up at like half six, seven-ish, so it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, feeling prepared, feeling ready for holiday. I hope this video has helped in some sort of way. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.